Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to a market review. I haven't done one for a while, so I thought I would do a SPY review today. Uh, SPY is still bullish. SPY is bullish overall, but the market had a very bearish day today. Um, it's quarter of two, and, and this move um, happened mostly in the morning. It just went way bigger than expected here. I thought we'd come in a little bit today, but hold up here. But once we started to break, it was all over. And then once we started to break and started to break and started to break and came down here, really, seriously, we ended up falling much, much deeper than I thought we would today. Now, we still did hold here. I mean, 166.45 is the low here. The low here is 166.84. So I thought we'd hold in here, but at one point it, we could have come all the way down here. We were just running so fast and deep into 166. We held here. Actually, we didn't even get down on top of it, but that's basically where we bounced. And so I see follow through to the upside here tomorrow, uh, but today was very bearish. And we're going to close red. Uh, and I don't know if we close right here or somewhere in this body-ish. It's more uh, better, it's better for us to follow through to the bullish side tomorrow if we close and hold here. If we close into this tail, we may actually drop some more tomorrow and then pick ourselves up off our butts and follow through next week. Uh, either way, this, this move today has not changed uh, the overall look of the market. It hasn't, okay? We just had to move down. And actually, all the stuff that was going on this morning was news related. All the things that's happening with the government, um, and the budget, and every time uh, one of the government people gets on the news and talks, the market seems to fall. It seems to happen um, a lot lately. The market does not like the fact that the U.S. has not been able to figure out some kind of budget measure, and not only that, keeps printing money like crazy and uh, making bigger, bigger debt for the country. So honestly, I still see the market holding bullishly. And I think the market will hold bullishly into the end of this year and into 2014. Uh, if the market changes trends and I notice something where we actually do a bearish gap that I see is significant, uh, I will notate that. But in the meantime, we're holding bullishly and we're going to continue higher. This bullish ride in the market, despite what's going on um, in, in our economy, could last for another year or two years or five years or eight years. Eventually, though, if we can't figure something out here to find a way to get out of debt completely, to be so, so negative. I mean, the, the situation is so far past go um, that sometime, at some point, it'll just implode. I don't think that's going to happen for five to ten years because we'll keep doing lots of things to um, stop that from trying to stop that from happening. But if the government keeps spending money um, like water, uh, it's not a good thing. It's just like if you, I was talking about this today in the room, you know, would you lend money to someone that has no, has no way of getting out of debt and isn't even trying? And that, that's the thing that's happening here with the government. Government's in huge debt. And it doesn't care. How do you know it doesn't care? Because it keeps spending money like water, like it's not even in debt. So if you had money, if you were a bank, would you lend money to someone who is deep in debt and keeps spending money, ignoring the fact that they're in debt and spending money like on stuff that they don't need to be spending money on, like water? You wouldn't. No normal person would. And so eventually it's going to come to a head. I think it's going to be a long way off, though. And so the market's going to rally bullishly until until it doesn't want to anymore. Uh, but my sh my short term, short term meaning the next six to twelve to eighteen months, or maybe three to five years, is bullish for the market unless we gap down, like I said, in something that shows me that we turn. But my overall stance, longer, bigger, bigger picture, I'm talking 10, 15, 20 years out, is bearish for the market if the country doesn't figure out a way to stop spending money like water. And uh, so. You know, this is the problem. This is the problem that the country's in, and the market doesn't like it whenever it it, it it talks about it, and that's what happened here today when the market ran down red. So either way, I like to short. It's my preferred way to trade. I like to short bearish gaps. It's what I do. I'm shorting them, created the system I have in a bullish market. So if the market wants to turn around, so be it. If the market ever wants to fall off a cliff, so be it. I'll just be looking for bigger dream targets in all the shorts I ever do. I won't do anything different. 
except for just make more money in, to the downside in bigger targets. But I have beautiful shorts that work now and huge to big dream targets more often than you think in a bullish market. So honestly, you know, the downside as far as I'm concerned gives me an edge. It's the right way to trade. Bad news, things fall in. Good news, if things are weak, people sell out of them because they don't want to be bothered sticking with a stock when the market's rallying if it's not performing. So there's just no downside to trading short side. It's, there's just none, absolutely none. And I love doing it. So anyways, if you'd like more information on the upcoming Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. It's October 12th and 13th. Market fell in today, but we're holding. And it's two hours left to the close, but I think we're going to hold somewhere around in here. I don't think we're going to break down to the low before the end of the close. And if we do, then we're lower tomorrow. If not, we're higher here. And the market is going to make another lift up soon. I, I thought it might happen this week. It doesn't appear it's going to be this week. But as soon as the market, the SPY specifically, gets over 170 again, it's going to blow. It's going to blow higher. Next target on the SPY is 175. And when the buying wants to come into market, which could be tomorrow or Monday, Monday. After this drop off here, people will take the opportunity to buy more into a pullback because that's what this is. And then it will rally on through and break out to new highs. And that's what's setting up here to happen in the next week or two. So have a great day, everybody. The bears ruled the market today. Have a wonderful day. If you would like more information on the gaps, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.